Now depending on the element type, you can choose to have double click do nothing, enable editing of the element type properties, or enable editing of the element. Or in the case of views and schedules on sheets, double click can activate the view. Bottom line, you get quicker and more efficient access to edit elements. In this release, the following layer standards for exporting DWG and DXF files have been updated to reflect the latest changes. They include the American Institute of Architects, ISO Standard 13567, the Singapore Standard 83, and the British Standard 1192. Also, you can find import improvements for IFC, DWG, and DXF. Textures, line patterns, line weights, and text are now included in 3D DWF exports. When an imported instance containing 3D solid geometry is exploded in the family editor environment, the 3D solids are now preserved. Each 3D solid becomes a freeform element which can be used for cutting, joining, and other form operations. These freeform elements can be edited by dragging the shape handles on planar faces. The benefit is that now you can collaborate more effectively with enhanced interoperability between technologies. Enhancements to the Material Browser dialog include the Material Editor functionality, which has been integrated into the Material Browser dialog. To edit a material, select it in the Material Browser and edit information in the tabs in the right pane now referred to as the Material Editor Panel. This is an editable materials classification system to allow for rapid search within the project or library in conjunction with the breadcrumb UI element contained in the Materials Browser. And now you can assign, sort, and organize materials by class. When displaying the project material in the Material Browser, the hand icon displays in the right pane of the appearance physical, and thermal tabs, indicating how many materials in the current project share the same asset. If the hand displays a zero, the asset is not shared or used by any other materials in the current project. The asset is only used by the current selected material. Now the Show and Hide Library button has also been added to the project material pane. This lets you collapse the library panel if you need to display more items in the project materials list. The material parameters dialog box is now modeless so you can view and change custom material parameters more quickly. Bottom line, you now have easier access to the existing materials. In Revit 2014, you can select multiple detail items or import raster images and use the send them back, send backward, bring to front, or bring forward tools to move them all in one operation. The second enhancement enables you to use the Align tool on a divided surface in the conceptual massing environment. You can align the UV grids on a planar divided surface by using a straight edge of the surface as a reference or an external reference. This method enables you to rotate the grid to be aligned to the edges that you select. Also, now you can tag the materials of a building element in 3D view. Once you lock the 3D view, you can then begin tagging the materials. The main benefit is the enhanced productivity tools really help you to improve control over the elements in your project and construction documents and help you to better visualize design intent.